Hi, welcome to Raw TV, Real and Willing Television. I'm Andrew Harley. And I'm Corey Lovett. Now, last week on the show, you enjoyed music by Jenny and Tyler. And this week, they're on the show again to play some more songs and to share with us a little bit of who they are as a couple. Now, their style of music is very unique. It's called Soulgrass, and they're going to share it with us. We're going to get to check it out. And then we're going to talk with them just about how they keep their music so authentic and so real. But before we get to that, enjoy this song by Jenny and Tyler. <laughs>
sometimes love it wakes me up like sunshine and I will not close the curtains though the light it hurts my eyes I would get on up the stairs straight to the sun and hope the words come soon my heart is racing but my tongue pleasure to introduce them to the set. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. being with us. Happy to be with you. You guys make me so happy. I don't know what it is. Y'all are just so great. <laughs> so mellow. So we want to know just how did you guys meet and start making music together? We met at the University of Delaware. Um, Tyler's from Delaware, and I just went to school there. But we met my freshman year, his sophomore year, mm -hmm. on a bus ride that was taking students from campus to a church. And um, we both got involved in the same uh, ministry on campus, the Baptist student ministry, and started leading worship together. And that's kind of how we got to know each other musically. Mm -hmm. And kind of... After that, started writing songs together. And when you write songs with somebody of the opposite sex, you, <laughs> you share a lot of deep emotions. Mm -hmm. And so after about three months of doing that, we, we were like, what are we? <laughs> and so we defined the relationship and, okay. yeah. and said, let's just say that we're dating. Um, and we did, and we never looked back. All right. <laughs> and you've been married three years? Almost. Almost. It'll be three yeah. years. Wow. Yeah. You guys come from very different musical backgrounds. I know that I was reading that in your bio. So could you mm -hmm. share how your musical influences have created this, this fusion of different sound? Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. I come from a jazz background. My dad is a jazz piano player, and my mom was always singing uh, Tony Bennett, Frank Sinatra, uh, dare I say, jazz, Barbara yeah. Streisand <laughs> songs. Uh, yeah, and so that's just what I grew up with, and, and I learned a lot, of, uh, a lot of theory, music theory from my dad, and, and just hearing it, um, it expanded my mind uh, from just the four-chord uh, radio pop stuff you hear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, my dad's a mandolin player and grew up in bluegrass bands and my mom sings. So um, our family times were always just all of us kind of gathering in the living room and singing bluegrass songs or country songs. Um, so that's kind of what I grew up on. And then when we uh, met, we just kind of fused those mm -hmm. together. And that's kind of where the soulgrass thing comes from. Um, little jazz, little country. 
a lot of pop now. So when you guys yeah. when you guys actually sit down to write a song, I mean, what, what's that fuse process like? I mean, what's the process like to, to take you know your jazz and your bluegrass background and, and make them into what we're seeing on the show? We we usually try to well when we write songs we do it primarily as individuals, mm -hmm. and we'll have. 75% of the song done and we'll take it to the other person and and they will say this song is great or this song <laughs> you should throw it out it's not very good <laughs> uh, but but with the jazz I guess um, we we try to kind of keep each other from going too extreme because if it were up to me the songs would be really jazzy uh -huh. and if it were up to Jenny they'd be really country or really mm -hmm. bluegrass and so we try to say why don't we stay in uh, within a certain boundary? Um, yeah. I think that happens a lot, yeah. Well, obviously music is just such a huge part of your lives together, and they were separately even before you met. So mm -hmm. how do you, you know, really fuse music into your life, and how do you keep it from, you know, pulling you apart? Because disagreements could cause some strife in the marriage. So tell us about that process. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, because music is definitely, like, what brought us together. Um, and we have to like set aside time, like days, even though music is our job and we love music, we have to make sure that we don't play music all the time. You know, when we're together, we have to set aside, okay, this is work, this is music for fun, this is just us hanging out. Mm -hmm. um, Talking instead of yeah, singing. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, just being able to um, compartmentalize when we're working and when we're working, either being writing new songs or practicing old songs, uh, that that has to we, we categorize that and we say, okay, we'll do that right now. But in an hour, we're just gonna goof off, play some stupid songs to each other. That that's some of the best part. Yeah, I think we just of, make up songs to each other a lot. And <laughs> yeah, and they're just they're completely stupid. <laughs> Do um, they ever turn into something that goes on an album? Sometimes the melodies turn into. Oh yeah, the another, another never the words. Song. The words are always absolutely ridiculous, <laughs> but but the melodies do sometimes make you should it. Should put out an album of just those. <laughs> <laughs> it would, I think it'd be way too personal <laughs> uh, and a little awkward. But, but, I respect uh, that. That's fair. But maybe. So, so you guys, you guys got married and then immediately just, just you know, started the tour, and mm. and promote albums and uh, I mean it was a pretty fast process. It was it was fast. It wasn't that fast. It, okay. I worked at Starbucks for a year and a half, and we tried to do music as much as we could, mm -hmm. with Jenny working another retail job and me working at Starbucks. But it wasn't until this time last year. That it, March of of '09 that we went full time with music, yeah. mm -hmm. and man, it has been a, a crazy journey. Um, it? Just yeah, just having all of your income come from music uh, is it's it's just much different. There's no guarantees, you know. Yeah. Um, Living on the edge there for sure. Yeah, it's fun though, and it's uh, it's it's definitely faith building. Um, we've seen God provide in amazing ways. Like good. I. There, there have been so many times, especially when we were just married, mm -hmm. where where people would come up to us and be like, I feel like the Lord wants us to give you this, and they, they'd just give us like a hundred bucks. Wow. Uh, and that, I think that happened like five or incredible. six times yeah. um, within the first year. And yeah, it's just people are really, really generous, and um, and it it's, it's amazing how it all has worked out. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. You two play in, you know, venues all over the place, not just, you know, Churches, you play right. all over the place. So, mm -hmm. what has the response been to your music? It's it's generally good. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, we play we play in coffee shops and in bars and at colleges and um, just houses. We play in house shit. We do we house played shows. in yoga studios and yeah. warehouses apparently. And yeah, warehouses. <laughs> yes. So yeah, and generally like um, we kind of tailor which songs we're gonna play to how the crowd is responding. We have some songs that are more explicitly Christian, you know, and some that are kind of more meant to make the audience just kind of think and be like, oh, is there something more to that song? Yeah, um, and, and also we, we just try to really feel out, um, uh, listen to the spirit um, to, to see what, is, is the right, what are the right words to say prior right. to that song. Because mm -hmm. a, a lot of the shows for us yeah. is, um, is that communication with the audience. Um, so there are some shows where we will explain the song to a T, mm -hmm. and there are other shows where we just kind of let 
the lyrics speak, and we just we gotcha. trust that that they will be used. Well, and your lyrics, I mean, they're known, and everybody just just raves about how authentic they are. And we and we hear your music, and everything and you're saying is so yeah. real and open. And mm -hmm. you know, how how do you really incorporate so much of who you are into your music and put that on a stage for anybody to see and be that authentic? Is that nerve wracking um, to just put yourself out there? I oh, well, I think it's just kind of natural to write songs yeah. about. What, how you feel. What you're going through, um, personal issues. And so I find it actually very refreshing to just be able to sing it and people talk to me about it later and in some ways that we have a song that's very personal to me uh, just about hard times and I've um, had people email us who have never met and like, you know, I really appreciate that song, I'm going wow. through that too and that's worth it, you know, to kind of put it out there if it's gonna help somebody else out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I would like to think that I'm, I'm uh, that honesty is, is kind of part of, of what I like to be or, or who mm -hmm. I am, mm -hmm. um, and, and I just feel like songs naturally come out of that place. Yeah, um, yeah I think like, it didn't take when we were initially dating. It didn't take long, um, for for me to open up and, and really for mm -hmm. we both kind of opened up to each other and. Man, if I had kids, I would totally not want them to be having the conversations that we had <laughs> when we were not even dating. Like, it was deep. It was, yeah, yeah. Like, Bearing like your all the soul stuff in the bit. past, that, like all the yeah. where we messed up and, and just like emotion, you know, like really deep stuff. We're so. obviously very close. It's so cute. Yes. We love it. It's, it's good. Yeah, we, one of our prayers, uh, we, we sent out some prayer to family and some, some close friends and um, it's, a constant one is that the music would bring us closer together mm -hmm. uh, and closer to the Lord. And because it's either dividing us or bringing us together, there's no mm -hmm. in between. Yeah. Um, and we, we've definitely had uh, on this tour, which has been about two and a half weeks, we've, uh, we've seen some of that divisiveness, but, we, but we've also seen a lot, of, um, a lot of it bringing us together. That's good, that's really so good. What is yeah. next, really briefly, before we close, mm -hmm. for Jenny and Tyler, for you two? Well, we're working on a new album that we hope to have finished in the fall. That's the and goal. And just playing. We're just gonna plug away. Uh, we've had the kid conversation, but um, I think that's <laughs> probably a ways off. We've had, we've had some, some good uh, conversation with, with people who have been where we are. Uh, doing music as married people, and um, and they've waited uh, for kids, and, and I think that that's probably. I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll it's we'll kind of Lord willing. So, right, yeah. We'll stay okay. in touch. So, yeah. guys, thanks so much for coming and, and just playing for us. Thank so, you. two shows y'all played for us. So, yes. um, we really hope that you guys have enjoyed all their music. Uh, they're about to play some more for us, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So, uh, let's hear some more from Jenny and Tyler. Here they are.
show and sharing you know just who they are and their music it has been wonderful getting to know them make sure to find out more about their music on jennyandtylermusic.com also be sure to check them out on facebook check them out on myspace check them out on itunes buy their music support them as musicians because they really um, just came in and, and really got to know us pretty well so they blessed us <laughs> did so all right well one more time uh, remember everybody to live it raw, live it raw. and uh, one more time jenny and tyler I do not cry. Oh, I 
times I've tried But it's a hopeless fight I've come to the conclusion I cannot change myself Children hunger as famines rage Rising numbers every day And so I wonder, well, can I change The feel something and I not be okay don't understand A thousand die And that news goes by And I don't think twice Cause it's not my life A thousand die And I do not Times I've tried, but it's a hopeless fight. I've come to the conclusion So maybe I should take a flight to see those desolate places.